My mo your most prized possession ever. A treasure chart. Just to add to the pile. Okay. Whoop. Yeah. All right, let's go back to our original base, our original home. I can visit my little sister that I don't think I visited yet. And then I can also get the Triforce that was there. That was supposed to be under that giant head. Uh, Ballad of Gales, there we go. It's also reasonably close to my next goal for the other Triforce that we saw on our chart. We we's a going home. Is she back up there? I don't see her up there. She's probably home with the grandma. Which I don't think I've visited since I freed her. Shirt. Whenever you have an empty bottle, you can bring it straight to Grandma. I can make more soup for you whenever you like. Uh... Is this... Did she ever get home, or is she still with the pirates? Are they protecting her? I don't remember the last status update we got. I know she was with the pirates, but I don't know if they stayed with her. Or she stayed with them. Can I pick you up? Because I got like the giant pickup ability now. Oh yeah. Uh. Wow. This is abusive. All right, so you would sm you'd be sniffing for truffles, right? Piggies sniff for truffles, generally, the hogs. Really, that spot that stands out, there's a dark spot on the ground. You... Notice anything interesting there? No. Notice things. Is there something to notice even? Am I wrong? Oh no. What if I were to put some... What's going on? Oh, weird. I was like, where's my icon? Oh, that's what did it. Oh, no. Sorry, I didn't mean to strike you, but you're covered in enemies that must be destroyed. Ow. Now he's attacking me. Not very nice. There we go. Friend. Friend. I don't think that's working out. Alright. Is there any other spot? Because now we've confirmed that he does dig. Ooh, there's one. I will slowly carry you from place to place. And cause you great distress. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to pick you up and throw you over and over again. We move so slowly otherwise. Please don't lose your mind and get angry. <laughs> this is horrible. This is horrible. I'm horrible. I'm a monster. And it's making the worst sounds that do not mix with how happy this- How happy and peaceful the music sounds.
Ow. No, dig. Do, be, do a happy dig. Do a happy dig. Look at all the bait. Do a happy dig by the happy bait. Ow. Ow. Jeez. Thing does damage. That thing just, that seagull just took my bait. I do not approve of this behavior. Extremely harmful. Yeah, if you throw them too much, they are not pleased. Uh, may, may need to learn from this mistake in the future. Holy crap, he almost defeated me. Oh, he just gave me rupees. I think I spent more rupees than that on the bait I've used on you so far. Oh, uh, there's, there's two more dark spots here. The, one of the first tutorial messages we got was that one, not, well, tutorial's not necessarily the right thing to call it. Uh, this one up here, too. One of the first messages we got was that guy, uh, looking for, uh, pigs and talking about how they might be useful. I need to heal after what I've gone through. Did not heal as effectively as you might hope. Ah well. Some progress is made. Now I get to carry a panicking pig across a, br a bridge very slowly. Can I put him on my boat and ship it? Literally? Or can you bowl a pig? Or can I roll him around? I imagine it was the repeated throwing that made him mad, just like how hitting him with a sword also made him mad, as you might expect. Let's just be chill about it. He is just this flailing butterball. This can't be good for his spine, right? There's no way. I must search every single one. They made this whole mechanic. And whenever they make this whenever they make a mechanic like this, you expect at least one of them to have a good reward hidden in there. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Ooh, that's the one. Woohoo. And this is why we do it. Alright, let's check the other ones. You never know. I hate you. Seagull, no, stop. Did you just- oh, they took the last of it. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it, you little shit. Get it. You don't- eat it. There we go. Bombs? Who's bearing bombs? That's dark. Anyway, back to slowly carrying you. I've already got a heart piece, which is probably as good as it's gonna get. But why not? You know, double or nothing a bit? No, it's not double or nothing. I get the heart piece no matter what. He makes a little... He makes a little pig noise every single time I take a step. That's funny. Oh. There were a little piggy tantrum. We're running out of bait. Which is probably for the best, because I need to replace it all with pears. Angry, angry, screaming, death, curdling pears. Oh, that's bad news. Well, I want to hit him again. Flee the side. Flee the scene. Escape. You can't get me. That guy's gonna think that his farm was destroyed by a pig now, because all the all the crops are. Oh, oh wait, no, that was just some grass he wanted me to cut before. Never mind. 
But I was thinking like all, all the crops are all the crops are gone and there's just a fish. Uh, no. Developers, why? That better be the best reward in the history of video games. It's so far up. Is there a better? Is there? I'm, I'm. This makes me question. Like I must be missing some way to transport this thing more quickly. There's gotta be a better way. This is like being told that I have to dr uh, climb both ways uphill in the snow. All right, I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes, apparently. <laughs> they said it couldn't be done, but it is done. I have done it. Oh. Long live the king. I am severely disappointed in him. And he pays the price. <laughs> That's about right already. There we go. Go, go, go. Ooh, we're cutting it closer than I would have liked. Here we go. Yeah. They knew what I want. What I really, really want. Get out of here. Up, another hole. Thanks for going down this hole. Here's another hole. I heard you liked holes, so I put holes in your holes. The Savage Labyrinth. Deep in the never-ending darkness, the golden shard you seek awaits. Sweet. All right. Well. Whoa. Ah. No like. No like. There we go. Much better. Ow. So we're doing a gauntlet now, aren't we? Layer after layer of trials and tribulations. It's these pricks. Hi. Bye. No. First there was two, and then there were three, and then there were four. Or one. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> two, three, one. Weird wave. Weird wave order. I imagined it was going to keep adding one every wave until it was just this chorus of noises and I'm like, yeah, you, you, stop it. Excuse me. Pendant. Pendant. And try to be very careful to get one from every single one, because this is my chance. Gotcha. You guys don't really mass aggro, do you? Into the fire with you. Oh, it's just the four. Ah. Well, I've got four. I was really ho really hoping to get more out of that. I probably need like a hundred if I wanted everything they give you. I'm somewhat less concerned about your guys. Because all you do is give me a healing potion that I don't use. Because I'd rather have fairies. Conquered. Oh, 
probably feeling a bit akin to Concord Grapes at the moment. Oh, these guys. Hi. Oops. Press backwards. Ow. Alright, well, when you're all in a group like this, it makes it really hard to do the counters. I can't tell which one it's, I'm doing it for. Hey, you. There we go. Hey, you. Not dropping me anything? Alright. There we go. Much easier. Ow. Oh, weird. I triggered the counterattack, but it did hit me anyway. Oof. Doing a lot of combat gauntlets lately. Hi. Alright. The color grading is changing over time, and they're combining enemies now from previous floors. This is less labyrinthine than I would expect, though, from a thing called a labyrinth. Oh, the grappling hook just kills it. Outright. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. There you go. Yeah, they're just combining enemies now, mostly with bats. Admittedly. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh yeah. How many floors are there, though? Jeez. How deep underground am I? Um... This seems like a lot. Okay. Oh, good news for me. Coast is clear for a moment. Gotcha. There we go. More pendants for the pile. I'm at what, eight now? Yeah. Oops. Happy to see that. Just give me a wave of like 30 of them. <laughs> oh, these guys. The boars of the booty. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. That looked incredibly painful. Just a grappling hook directly to the face, and he just looks stunned by that, like, did he just- did this dude just- I wonder if the can- if the torches were supposed to signify that was floor 10? Oh, did I make it? Did I do it? Is that a- do I want to go back up or down? I don't know. Shit, was that a bad idea? Yeah. These guys are back. Oh crap. So that what so it didn't loop me back. I was ten floors down. No. It occurs to me. Uh, the point of this is that it's an exceptionally long combat gauntlet. So this is a rest- this is a rest floor, like the ones we saw in the first DLC for Breath of the Wild. A little chance to get a little money. Really just money, actually. All that's here is rupees, not even a heal. Huh. So you keep going deeper. If you go here ever, it takes you to the entrance, which is... Whew, a brutal mistake to make, and they do not give you a shortcut back down, either. Whoops. But you have to keep going for who knows how long. And I have to conserve- I have to be- I have to fight... ...relatively carefully, because I need to conserve my health. If I run out of health, I'm gonna be in some trouble. Thankfully, I do have the soup. There we go. I have the soup and two fairies. That sets- so that sets me up nicely. And I believe I've set up a system for fighting, like, every enemy in the game so far, right? 
There's no- I haven't encountered like a dark link or anything where I'm like, how do I do this? So it should be fine. That's why no one's dropping anything. Yeah. No one drops- normally they'd be dropping like hearts and stuff like that, but then they're not dropping anything because that affects the, the endurance run. So you go for a bunch of floors, then you eventually get your reward in the form of a, a Triforce shard. I just have to not be careful with- the, not be stupid with these guys. Whoa, right, they get one shot. I forgot. I completely forgot the boomerang one-shots these guys. There we go. It's like a Mega Man elemental weakness. Why, thank you. Still collecting. <laughs> Oopsie. Almost... I pressed the, the uh, grappling hook button, but it didn't actually launch. And I started proceeding without it. I'm like, oh crap, I haven't actually fired it yet. Let's see, so I think I got 8 from the original run, then 8 from doing it again, and now I should be up to 20? 19. I messed up somewhere and didn't get it at some point. Ah, oh, well. The point is, we're collecting them very fast. A combat gauntlet will do that, I suppose. Ow. Uh, I should not be taking hits like that. Whoops. Let's see, can I switch to map? Ah, uh, I switched to map, but it doesn't help. It doesn't actually tell me what floor I'm on, which is what I was hoping it would tell me. There we go. Let's take out those guys first. Uh, I got an opening. Let's do this. Just gotta remember which weapon works on a witch and I'm fine. Oh wow. Or in this case, the weapon works on both really well. And we'll probably cycle through the weapons based on what dungeon that we found them in. Since it looks like this, the physical location around me and the enemies I'm facing seem to be based on what dungeon... Yeah. The first one was probably Forsaken Fortress, and now we're probably dealing with, uh, Forest Haven. Now they're coming out of pots, just like we saw before. Making me really able to control the flow of this fight, as I manually summon the enemies. Don't really have to w wait to see what enemies drop, because nobody drops anything, apparently. There we go. This might be a very long run. Floor 10's reward was just rupees, and there might be 10 floors per dungeon. Which would be a lot. Ow. That's more what I was going for. Taking some gradual damage, I'd rather not, but hey. I think they're gonna give me a lot of moblins in here, or bokoblins, or eh. What weird enemy names. Oh, you guys. Hi. There you go. Just keep hitting them till their wings fall off. That's terrifying. Oh, thank goodness. Sweet escape without having to take care of all of them. I thought I was gonna have to kill every single one. I'm like, this will take an eternity. They showered so many on me. Ah. 
floor 20 already? All right. If I'm right about the numbers, at least. Okay, this time they're giving me hearts. Whew. Look how much money we have. This will help identify the charts. It's good to have. Uh, yep, this is a visual change. I think I remember this area, yeah. Oh, you guys, my favorite, said no one. Ow, dick. Okay, yep, done with this. Officially done with you. Being able to rapid fire shot is so satisfying. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they just make that sound when you when they when they notice that you're around. There's like, oh. Out. Crap. Get out, get out. There we go. Yeah, I think they have voice actors. <laughs> Which is weird to think for that kind of enemy, but yeah, I think they're like, whole. They verbally respond to acknowledging you or that you're there. Uh, we're gonna want you guys now. Ah, spikes. Oh yeah, they even gave you bomb flowers just in case you somehow didn't have any bombs, because this would become impossible. They're thinking ahead. They know what to do. Yeah, so now we're in the Temple of the Gods, I think? It was this, this series of floors? Uh oh. Okay. It's just what they all do. Once again, I can control the flow of the fight. Oh, crap. My boomerang didn't hit it. Ow, why did I do that? Yeah, I'm not going to counterattack an uh, enemy covered in lightning. This seems like an incredibly poor, probably conceived idea. Oh, crap. My boomerang didn't hit him. That's what it is. I, I, I pressed the button too much, so it came back to me. You press the, uh... I'm noticing with the grappling hook and the hook shot and the boomerang, if you make the mistake of hammering the button too much, uh... And then once it's already come out, then if you press it again on accident, then it comes back to you. Useful if you're doing it on purpose, not useful if you're doing it on accident. Lock on, please. There we go. You only lock onto them once they're aggroed. Lock on, please. Lock lock on, please. There we go. We seem to be making good time. Yes. More. Excuse me, I'm trying to rob your friends. This is between me and their joy pendants. Huh? Dodge? There we go. Off with your clothes. Gotcha. We're gonna have a body count of like 150 by the time this is over. Just from this one dungeon. You guys again. Ah, that's what I thought. An additional enemy. I'm like, why is it the same enemies but fewer? This is weird. <laughs> oh, missed it. That two down? Yep. Really highlights the enemy variety this game has. Mm. 
It's also kind of nice to combine them into packs and have to fight them as groups just because uh, throughout the dungeons, it's usually just one enemy type per room. Plus or minus bats. They'll put the keys with everybody. Oh? Who's it going to be besides the big ones? That's what I'm wondering about. Oh, skulls. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> there we go. Running away now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye! <laughs> we clear? Yep. This is fun. It was not fun to play the first ten floors twice in a row, but other than that, it's like, yeah, enemy variety. Let's experience the breath this game has to offer. Two dark nuts. Sup? Aha! You guys don't have clothes on. Ow. He decked me in the face. Ow. We clear? Nope, not yet. Sup? That probably felt great. <laughs> that was perfect. Both helms off in one attack, followed by both... Uh, both armors off in the follow-up attack. Oh. This room seems important. So much money. I like that they made a different sound for every single one, just to highlight how many different ones you're picking up and how, what variety they are. Alright, you're always just- you always just mean do this. Is this it? Do I get it? Ooh. Oh, it's a Triforce shard. He needs seven more shards to form the complete piece of the Triforce. 